Welcome back to Mona's Take. I am your host, Mona Rose, and we are here to talk about everything reality TV. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything I have coming up. Oh Lord, it's been a night in the Big Brother house. This video is going to be on the live feeds. Uh, there's a lot going on. I think Daniel and Nicole have realized, I know Daniel and Nicole have realized, that she doesn't have the votes to stay. So the house is in turmoil. So we're going to get right into it. Stay tuned. People are acting on a whole nother level on that. So can't wait to see that karma train coming through. Choo-choo. Mood of the day. Really? you got to get some more than that. Some people buckle up, buttercup. When someone shows you who they are, believe them. Starts off with Turner telling Jasmine that Nicole told him that Jasmine and Alyssa don't trust her anymore. And that next week she plans on putting up one of the girls that don't trust her. Now he said... This is concerning to me since you're one of the girls that don't trust her and you're my partner, then I could possibly go on the block too. So I'm thinking, why the hell would you come to me and ask me for my vote to keep you and then tell me that you're going to put me up on the block in the same sentence? It's like, who the hell does that? Then she turns around and says, I want you to know you're safe with me. And Turner says that he literally laughed in her face. And she's like, no, seriously, dude. Like, you're safe with me. And Turner's like, you know how she does all of that. And Jasmine's like, why the hell would she do that? And she says that she feels like Jas uh, that Nicole's just doing too much. Um, Turner says, Taylor's not a threat to my game. I don't think she'd ever come after me, and I don't think she'd ever come after you. Her clear target's Daniel. And, uh, he's like, you know, it wouldn't take much for me to flip my vote. And he says, I've heard some ramblings, but I'm not sure yet which way this is going. Uh, but I'll let you know as soon as I find out. Most of the day was just filled with different talks here and there. And at one point, Monty, Jasmine, um, Andy are talking in the living room. And they're talking about uh, how their parents made them be strong females and be independent females. And you don't need a man to get along in this world that you can have a man. But it is nice if you can do things on your own. And she makes the statement that she's such an independent person that it has literally killed her. Do you hear me? It's literally killed her to have to ask people for help in the house. Honey, she has ordered everybody in that house to wait on her hand and foot for three weeks. Three weeks. I just thought that was hilarious. I was like, are you kidding me? Anyway, back to the Turner and Jasmine conversation. Jasmine tells Turner, I don't like tough girls, you know, the ones who act like they're all tough. Well, evidently, she doesn't like girly girls either because Taylor is a pageant queen and she doesn't like that. But anyway... She tells him that most of her friends are guy friends at home, that she just generally doesn't get along with women. And I can believe that. Because, number one, she's catty as hell. Monty talks with Jasmine, and he tells her the conversation that he, conversations that he's had with her. And he said, she lied to my face. She point blank lied to my face. And I don't want to keep her. I want to get her out. So she even asked me if it was a 5-5 vote, what I would do. And at the time, I told her that I would keep her. But the more she talked, the less I came, became sure of that. He said, now, if it comes down to a 5-5 tie, 
I'm going to break the tie and I'm going to send Nicole home. And you said last week that you didn't want to be on the wrong side of the boat. So I'm giving you a heads up now that if you don't want to be on the wrong side of the boat, because I have had conversations with other people, that you'll vote Nicole out. That's up to you, but I'm giving you a heads up. He tells her, you know, Nicole's throwing out my name. She's talking about putting me and Terrence and Joseph on the block. I'm her target. This and that and the other. And I've had several people come tell me that, so I know she's saying it. Um, Jasmine tells Monty that uh, she'll tell Alyssa and Alyssa will do whatever she tells her to do. I really hope Alyssa gets a backbone this week. Monty tells Jasmine that he would like to get a unanimous vote. He said, I know Daniel's not going to vote her out, but I would like the rest of the house to vote her out. Um, and that next week we would all band together and Daniel would be the target, and then that would get everybody that's left in the house to jury. Um, Jasmine says Daniel's going to cause a riot and put a target on himself that they're not really going to have to do much of anything. The next conversation is between Jasmine, Indy, Alyssa. Jasmine tells them that Taylor's staying. Jasmine says she doesn't know what to do. Indy says, if we let Taylor stay, she's winning this damn game. Then they say that they could vote Taylor and blame it on the others. Indy said there's no way um, that Taylor can join us, talking to Alyssa. There's no way that I want Taylor joining us because she's going to F up our game. I'm sorry. Alyssa says, how do you know he's not playing you, talking about Monty? And Jasmine says, I don't. Brittany joins the conversation, and Brittany says it looks like the house is flipping. And Jasmine said, I know. I literally just told them that. And Brittany said, so um, are y'all down if that's the case? Are y'all going to vote with the house? She said, if you vote her out, I'll vote her out. And Indy's adamant now. Indy is stubborn and hard-headed. She is not voting Nicole out. She said, my best friend put me on the block this week, and her best friend saved me. I can't vote her out with her best friend saving me. Oh, Indy. Indy's playing with her heart. I don't think Indy has it in her to lie and scheme. And that's not good in the Big Brother house. You can't show all your cards all the time. And Indy does just that. She plays with her heart. Even though Monty put her on the block, she still wants to work with Monty and Joseph because she loves the boys. Um, her feeling like Daniel saved her so she can't vote Nicole out. She's just not thinking about it rationally. Alyssa tries to tell Indy, look, if Taylor joins us, it could be a good thing. How do you know it's going to be a bad thing? She's a comp. You know, she's, she's going to be good at comps. She's shown that. She's come in like second and third place every time. Um, so she could help keep us safe if she's joining us. I don't want you to think that it's a death sentence if she joins our team. And she's motivated to get Daniel out. And Indy said, if you let her stay in the game, that bitch is winning it all. That bitch is going to win this game if you don't get her out. Nicole, Nicole comes in and talk to Indy again. And Indy's telling her to stop talking to people. She doesn't come out and tell her something's going on, but she says you need to stop talking to people. You need to talk to your six, and that's it, and don't talk to anybody else. And don't throw my name under the bus again. And Nicole is like, I'm doing what I need to do to stay. And she's like, I'm warning you to stop talking to people. Well, then Nicole... And Daniel are so arrogant that Nicole goes to Daniel and says, y'all need to leave Indy alone tonight. She's getting real paranoid, and she's going to be a loose cannon, and we just can't overwhelm her. She just, she, she just mentally can't handle all this. She's just all paranoid right now. Well, you're going to find out soon she's not that paranoid. Just like they didn't take the warning from Money, they didn't take the warning from Indy. 
Uh, the next conversation is between Kyle and Alyssa in the HOH room. And Kyle just comes right out and tells Alyssa that he's voting Nicole out. And she says, I figured that. Um, he says, you know, she's throwing your name around. She's throwing my name around. She's throwing Monty's name around. And I just don't trust her. He said that he feels like he gets along better with Taylor than he does Nicole. Which Alyssa didn't show it, but I'm sure that probably did not go over well with her. Um, he says he doesn't want to work with Nicole. And he would just as soon have her out of the house. Alyssa said she feels the same way. She's worried that Jasmine's going to be mad at her. Because she wasn't downstairs for Jasmine's first bite of her meal when she got off slop. They've been doing this countdown at midnight where they fix all this food for the have-nots. And then at midnight they count it down to where they can actually eat on Wednesday night. And um, Alyssa was upstairs talking to Kyle when it went down. So Alyssa's like, she's going to be so mad at me because I wasn't down there. And all I'm going to hear about is how I wasn't there for her first bite. Don't worry, Alyssa. It wasn't her first bite. Um, Kyle's telling Alyssa that Jasmine is so annoying. And he leaves the room every time she comes into a room because you can't have a conversation with her. He said everything is about her. He said she asked me the other day what kind of camera I had. And before I even had a chance to answer, she starts talking about what kind of camera she has. And went on a 30-minute a conversation about her camera and then left the room. It's like, why the hell ask me about my camera if you don't care? So he's getting annoyed with Jasmine. Um, he said she's always making everything about her. Okay, this was kind of hilarious. Nicole made muffins today. Um, and when they came out, she took two bowls and she put two muffins in each bowl for uh, Turner and Jasmine when they came off slot. So they're eating and they're just shoveling it in and whatever. And she, Joseph was standing at the counter and she said, can you hand me that bowl with my muffins in it? And he's like, there's no muffins in that bowl. She's like, yeah, that bowl right there. And he picks it up and he shows her and he's like, there's no muffins in here. Who ate my muffins? Those were my muffins. Well, there was a saucer on the counter that had four muffins on it. And Joseph is trying to tell her that he took them out of the bowl and he put them on the plate to warm them up. He didn't know they belonged to anybody specific. Nobody said anything about them being saved for anyone. And I want you to know she got madder than hell. Like you could see it all over her face. She quit talking to everybody, and she was just pissy for about 30 minutes. I was like, are you kidding over some damn muffins? Um, Kyle tells Daniel that he doesn't know if anything's going around, but he'll let him know tomorrow. Now, what sparked that conversation is evidently Daniel was watching Joseph, Kyle, Monty, and Michael in the, the storage room. And Mike and Daniel watched him for like five minutes. And then Joseph came out. And then a few minutes later, Taylor went in. Like, Joseph went and got Taylor and told her to go in there. And then they sat there for another five-minute conversation. And then Terrence said he was going to bust up the conversation. So he went in there. And... So, Daniel automatically got paranoid and told, was trying to talk to Kyle about it. Um, but Kyle tells him, I haven't heard anything. I don't know if anything's changed. I don't think anything's changed, but I'll let you know tomorrow if I hear anything. He says that Monty, Joseph, and Turner hasn't done anything to him. And that um, the only stuff that he's heard about all this stuff that's going around is what Nicole and Daniel has said. But he hasn't heard any of this stuff from Monty himself. Uh, Daniel tells Kyle that he will either split the vote or he will be the deciding vote. One or the other. 
at the same time this conversation is going on, Monty and Joseph are filling Indy in on why they want um, Nicole out. Everything she's done, throwing everybody's name around, the lies, and all of that. And it must have been something juicy because they cut the cameras off of them pretty darn quickly when they started talking. Uh, and then Daniel and Nicole are in the bedroom. Now, this is when they realize they don't have the votes. Daniel tells Nicole, we can't trust Kyle. He says the whole thing about seeing Kyle and Joseph and Taylor and Terrence in the storage room and that Kyle lied to his face and that he can't be trusted. And at that moment, they realize that they don't have the numbers to keep Nicole. And she said that she wanted to blow up the house, but that's not who she is. And then it both hits them at the same time that Daniel's the reason that she's on the block. Nicole said, this is bullshit. And honestly, I'll probably never watch this show again. And Daniel says, it's always the big alliances that steamrolled the little people. Y'all didn't have a problem steamrolling when you were on the other side and you voted Pooch out. I mean, they had the chance then to get rid of Taylor if they wanted to get rid of Taylor so bad. They're the ones that decided, the girls, that they were going to get rid of Pooch. And they're sitting there for a while staring at each other, very quiet, like they're actually both speechless. And they can hear everybody laughing and, and cutting up in the bathroom. And it's really pissing both of them off because Taylor and Brittany are in the bathroom with the rest of the house guests and they're playing some kind of little game. So it's just getting all over Nicole's ass and she can't stand it and she comes up with a plan. It's not in me to blow up everybody's game and to cause a bunch of drama. But I'll set Indy up and Indy will do it for me. So she goes and she pulls uh, Indy out of the bathroom. Now everybody in the house except for Monty, Terrence, Daniel, and Nicole are in that bathroom. And she pulls Indy out in front of everybody. And she says, I don't have the votes to stay. And Indy said, what are you talking about? And she's like, I'm going home tomorrow. I don't have the votes. And Indy said, what are you talking about? I never told you I wasn't going to vote for you. And Nicole said, yeah, you didn't, but everybody else that's in that bathroom is lying to my face. And you know what? If you don't want Taylor on your team, then you better figure something out. And she storms off. Thinking that Andy's, Indy will lose her shit on Taylor. And blow up everybody's game. Which Indy did not. She went back to having a good time. And Daniel's standing at the door of um, the car room. And he's listening. And he's like, they don't care. They don't care that you're going home. Indy and Alyssa and Joseph are cutting up talking about food. They don't care. And Nicole said, well, that tells me everything I need to know. I'm going home. And Terrence is funny as hell. He's stoking the flames. He's trying to get Nicole to blow up. And it's killing Daniel and Nicole that everybody else is having the time of their lives. Nobody's talking game. They're playing games and laughing and cutting up and dancing and just acting silly. And Nicole and Daniel can't stand it because, like I said, Brittany and Taylor are in there with them. And then Nicole says, looks up at the camera and says, shout out to any BB alumni that's out there that loves me. Give me a shout out when I get out. Maybe I can stay in California for a week till Daniel gets out. <laughs> I honestly don't know any BB alumni. 
that would welcome Nicole with open arms. I honestly don't. I've seen the tweets and stuff that's going on. I just don't see her being a welcome addition. Then Indy and Jasmine come in the car room, and it's Indy, Jasmine, Terrence, and Daniel. And Indy says something about she doesn't know what to do, that she's going to vote with the House because she doesn't want to be on the wrong side of the vote. And Daniel starts berating her. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? And Indy says, we don't have the votes. What else am I supposed to do? And he said, you call them on their shit. You make them own up to their shit. You don't give in. Well, I know we did that and voted with the House, um, you know, to, to vote uh, Pooch out. But that was a different story. That's not the same thing. It is exactly the same thing. The other side of the House voted with you because you, you guys want to Pooch out. Hell, his best friend even voted against him. So it's no different than what's happening this week, other than the fact it's happening to you. And Jasmine starts going off about Taylor again and said, that bitch is too comfortable kicking it with the rest of the house in there. Do you hear me? She's just too damn comfortable. And then she takes her cane in the hitting motion again. So at the time that I am filming this, and then, or the time I started filming this, that I turned off the live feeds, it's 5.30 in the morning, my time, central time. And the house cast are still going at it, and they're still having conversations, and there's still a lot going on in the house. But I'm exhausted, so I figured I would stop it here. I'm going to get this uploaded for you guys, and then when I get up in the morning, I'll watch the feeds up until they cut them off. And anything that happens then, I will do another small video tomorrow afternoon once I cut the live feeds off. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments. Are you guys ready for tomorrow night's episode? Or I should say, tonight's episode, these house guests don't sleep. They really don't. I don't know how they do it because I've been trying to keep up with them. And I've been having to take a nap during the day because I just can't keep up. But tell me what you think in the comments. And until next time, have a good night and much love.